Hi guys, welcome back. So I promised you a part 2 and here it is. Just like last time, I'm gonna go over a few pop singers and first mention their best cover and then their worst one. And say it with me, my opinion not the ultimate truth and you know this. Without further ado, let's get into it. Miley's best cover. So okay, I have two. One being my favorite and second being probably her most memorable. And I will start with her rendition of Man Eater by Double Hole and John Oates. Ooh, something you need to know about me is that Man Eater is my favorite song of all time. And I'm so glad that Miley has done as great of a job as she's done with it. Oh, here she comes. Watch out, boys, she'll chew you up. Oh, here she comes. She's a man eater. First of all, her passion and authenticity are palpable in this performance. Miley's pugnacious, dark voice and greedy delivery fit Man Eater like a glove. Actually, Miley's version is way more aggressive than the original, but I don't find it overbearing in any way. I am also in love with Miley's stylistic choices and no changes throughout the performance. However, I have to admit that Jolene by Dolly Parton may actually be her most memorable one though. Miley's worst, I don't think it's bad necessarily, but her cover of Back to Black by Amy Winehouse is one I don't really care for. Miley's more pop rock slash country style doesn't go well with jazzy soulful song like this. Also, for some reason, Miley's quick vibrato really bothers me in this song. He Ariana's best and I will not compromise on that, I won't say I'm in love for Hercules. This is an A plus performance, Ariana's voice is made for this kind of vocal delivery and she embodies Megara so well, a brilliant song choice. That's ancient history, been there, done that, don't you think you're kidding, easier than heaven so you try to keep it hidden tonight, oh, oh. and it's too cliche, I won't say I'm in love. Ariana's worst, I think it would be her Queen of the Night How Will I Know Medley by Whitney Houston. Ariana seems kinda lethargic in this one. It seems like a very rushed performance with some all over the place repetitive vocals. I mean, at least for Ariana's standards. Also, Ariana's voice isn't capable of cutting through the heavy instrumentation and bringing the same energy and drama like Whitney could. Jojo's best cover. Well, she has a few great ones, but her best has to be Pretty Wings by Maxwell. Oh my god. First of all, this is a brilliant choice for Jojo, who just breathes and speaks R&B. You also can tell that she loves this song dearly. I mean, this performance is fucking tasty. Jojo's feeling throughout the performance is top-notch, 
not to mention her vocal delivery. How did she manage to do so much vocally and not over sing? I have no idea. If I had to show someone one specific performance of Jojo to convince them she is a vocal and artistic beast, your face will be the reason I smile, but I'll not see what I cannot have forever. Baby, believe me, sorry I told you lies. It will be this one. Do yourself a favor and listen to it if you haven't. For Jojo's worst one, I'm gonna pick Miss You Most at Christmas Time by Mariah Carey. It may be just me, but her voice doesn't complement the song and the arrangement well. It sounds heavy and piercing at times and lacks warmth, appropriate for the song. Twenty eighteen was a rough year vocally for Jojo, and the pushed, fatigued upper belts certainly don't help to capture the song's essence. The lows and runs were great though. In general, not a terrible performance, just not on par with Jojo's standard. So Marisette has performed so many covers in her career, so I am not sure how on earth am I supposed to pick one best? I'll try though. I think that one of the covers which really stands out is her rendition of Rise Up by Andra Day. And the fact that a 21 year old could deliver such controlled, refined and mature vocal is beyond impressive and kind of beyond my understanding. Morrison's verse, not a lot to choose from, but my pick is going to be Run To You by Whitney Houston. Well, this may be the most unoriginal and kinda karaoke-ish I've ever heard Morrison sound. Not gonna lie. Her voice sounds unnaturally heavy, most likely in an attempt to imitate Whitney. That you just don't see but if you would only take the I know in my heart of you, I feel so all alone, I want to run to you. Adding more than a few our lips and runs also doesn't help the performance. Toby K's best may be her cover of Don't You Worry About A Thing by Stevie Wonder. Yes, it is a cover. The song suits Toby's bright, silvery voice and her very melodic style of singing. Ah. 
you can tell how comfortable and in the element she feels, despite of how challenging vocally the song has been made. The first half is good, but in the second half, Tori's voice starts picking up this shrill, kinda irritant quality. Cause honey, soul can never grow old. It's evergreen. It's forever in my mind and memory. That combined with some pushed up belts and more than a few vocal runs creates not the most easily digestible. Mix. Kiss me under the light of a thousand stars. Oh, place your head on my beating heart. I'm thinking out, out loud. Especially for a song of a rather simplistic nature like Thinking Out Loud. I think this is one of the closest times Tori's ever got into actual over singing, which is rare considering her usual musicality. Jennifer Hudson, she's got a few memorable ones, but the one I'm gonna choose as her best is going to be A Change Is Gonna Come, one of the most authentic performances I've ever heard from Jennifer. It seems like she truly feels the weight of the lyrics. And her vocal delivery, I don't need to tell you, it's fire, just as you would expect. The worst, um, I'm not gonna surprise you, Titanium by Sia. This wasn't a good choice and I feel like Jennifer herself knew it. And having to share the stage and kinda compete with Jesse J didn't help. Rosé's best cover I find to be Eyes Closed by Halsey. This song puts Rosé's strengths as a storyteller and interpreter on display beautifully. Her musical sensitivity and natural emotiveness paired with solid and polished vocals make this performance a beautiful experience. So I forgot to record the voiceover for Rosé's verse, so I'm quickly going to say that my pick is going to be um, Someone You Loved by Louis Capaldi. I don't think there's anything wrong with Rosé's magician, however, I also don't think that um, her very clean, very melodic delivery um, hits the same emotional impact and intensity uh, like on the original. Uh, in general, I also think that it is a very tricky song for female singers to perform and cover. And also, we've got no intro, so thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little series that I did. And yeah, um, what else? Um, what, do I do? what do I always say? I need to know your opinion on all this. And once again, thank you for watching. And yeah, see you in the next one. For now, bye guys.